fostering education and educational excellence in Iran. From the past, education was one of the most important part in a society. And uh, many countries are, keep com are uh, putting a considerable amount of money and time on um, uh, education because they believe that education is key of uh, development. But this development is not easy to achieve and of course it will, it will face some problem in its way. So as two 17-year-old students who have been studying in Iran for 10 years, I'm, I'm Arash Salmoslehan and my partner Kurosh Takashi are here to express five major problems of Iran's educational system. Number one is Konku. One of the most devastating hurdles in our educational system is the entrance exam, or also called the Konku. During past decades, Konku has become an indestructible iron shield stopping our educational system from examining other intelligences of our youngsters, such as Musical intelligence, linguist intelligence. <coughs> it's it's about you know those who can talk and write perfectly, like politicians. And also we have bodily kinetic intelligence, those who love movement and sports, like athletes. But the problem with concur is that it only examines one kind of intelligence, which is logical mathematical intelligence, and many extraordinary talents are laid wasted behind the doors of concur. So, Arash, why do we have still concur? Yeah, I mean, if it's, re it's really inappropriate. So, the most important reason that has kept concur standing strongly are the people behind concur, who benefit from private classes, samples of tests, and new strategies of solving problems and things like that. Nearly 10 billion tomans is exchanged every year in the mafia of concur. So consequently, people behind this big event do everything in their power to keep the exams going on. Number two problem is lessons. Our subjects are full of large amount of useless studies and which causes tremendous stress and frustration upon our students. Uh, unfortunately, in Iran, theoretical lessons uh, are the main matter of being educated, but our lives uh, our uh, aspects uh, are, um, contains lots of other aspects like survival skills or uh, artistic skills or social uh, behaviors. So, schools should be a place to achieve all these aspects as it is in other countries such as Sweden or Finland where students learn to swim, cook, make handcrafts, survive in nature, feed animals and things like that which results in a much better society than ours. For example, teaching cooking is nearly as important as math. Only one in a thousand may use this scary integral in their life. But cooking, cooking is something that everyone needs. Whether you're a doctor, you're an engineer, you're a policeman, we all need the skill of cooking in our life. Theology, or as we call it, religions and life, is a lesson that uh, uh, it was, has been taught since the dawn of schools in Iran. Um, but uh, theology is considered to be a lesson that teaches us the right, right way of living or making right decisions and things like that. Um, but recently the true aim has been obscured and changed. Because of concours and other exams like that, students pay more attention to having good results in their exam rather than having good results in their life. So nowadays many teachers believe that it's better to call theology religious and concours. Um, although there is uh, lots of problems that we said, a normal kid in Iran spends nearly 16,000 hours in the school. Number three problem is teachers. Teaching is one of the most essential jobs in a society that, uh, because the result of their job are youth who want to make the future of the, uh, the country. So uh, why their salary is very low? Their job uh, is not easier than a professor in a um, university and, um, because they are dealing with some people who are educated or um, uh, were, uh, want to have a degree. But in school, uh, they may just uh, 
uh, dealing with some uh, naughty boy who wants, uh, who didn't want to uh, be in a school. Or um, in comparison with other countries, uh, teachers in Fari uh, have convenient life. But uh, in Iran, you can always you know, see them nagging every day and you can see the problems, you can see how the problems of their life affect the way they teach along with some irrational behaviors towards students. Teachers don't take subjects as work and technology or media and knowledge really seriously and the kids or students are not never uh, in action. Um, nowadays they just memorize this is good, this is bad, this work like this, this work like that. So students need to be engaged with the work and they have to experience what they are learning, not just you know, jotting down and memorizing whatever the teacher says. For example, as an example, you know, to be a student to students in action is to give two students chocolate and tell one of them, okay, you have to divide the chocolate and tell the other that you have to pick. So in this way, the kids, for their own sake, they have to divide the chocolate equally. And with this method, they learn the pure justice. But in Iran, they just, justice is good, they're just human, and uh, they just talk rather than doing something. For example, as you see in Japan, or um, in many other countries, they are responsible for their um, uh, cloning their school. A geography class in most parts of Iran is like this. For example, I'm the teacher and Mr. Takashi is the student. So, Mr. Takashi, tell me five, the name of five rivers in the north of Iran. Mm. Why didn't you study last night? <laughs> because uh, my father was sick. Okay, how about your, mor your yesterday morning? We had some guests. Okay, that's not an appropriate excuse. I will fail you this year. Forgive me, please. Sorry, I... No, nothing will be fixed by forgiving. Get the hell out of my class! <laughs> um, it's gonna be happening in a promise. No, no, I will call your parents. I definitely call your parents and I will give... I will send you to the principal doors. So, I mean, a, a single geographic class and this much stress and frustration upon, I don't know, a ten-year-old kid. I know, you know the main job of students is to study in school, but with some creativity and patience, teachers can make this job more interesting. More interesting. Number four problem is our family. Parents in Iran kept comparing uh, us with, uh, I don't know, our classmates or our relatives. Like, Oh, crush, look at your, do something, you're just you no know, loitering in the neighborhood, look at your classmates, they're all attending some you know, other classes. Or you look at your classmates, has always been the top student, for God's sake, what's, what's wrong with you? Parents certainly don't aim to hurt their child, but unknowingly these verbal statements do more harm than good. Some negative effects of comparing your child is because of stress, lowers the self esteem. Your child always thinks that everyone else is very much better than you, than himself or herself. Suppresses talents. For example, your child is good at music and wants to attend music classes, but you keep forcing him to attend concours classes because most of his classmates are going into those classes. So, you know, his talents, his passion for music destroys. And distances from parents. After a while, your child thinks that you hate him and he or she tries to avoid any social contact with you. Each person exceptional and they are varied from each other and we must not compare them. From the uh, first grade of school, um, they, uh, our parents are buying us some uh, supplementary books or multiple choice exams that are not really necessary for a seven-year-old kid. Instead of these books, they can buy some uh, historic books or novel books that can, uh, we can really learn something from it. Iran's educational system is highly competitive and parents put a lot of money and time into their child's education. Another example of this is in Konku, where you know, parents, of parents and children often forego holidays and don't attend family or social engagements because their child is preparing for concours.
So, in conclusion, a bird has to fly and a turtle has to crawl on the surface. A fish has to swim and a cat has to run. We are seeking for a day that our people might actually learn that not everyone has to fly or crawl. Not everyone should be able to solve hard mathematics problems and not everyone should have a great understanding of physics. If a turtle tries to fly, it will die.